Okay, now that Dragon OS has support for SDR Play built in, I wanted to do uh, a few videos using uh, SDR Play equipment uh, with uh, the four, I, I count about four applications that uh, work with SDR Play and Dragon OS, and that's uh, uh, Sig Digger, Cubic SDR, the 2.6 Alpha, Open Web RX, and then with a slight modification, I'll show you here in a second, RTL uh, 433. Uh, but first, I've got the uh, SDR Play uh, website pulled up with the RSP1 Alpha shown here. Um, I, again, the guys at uh, SDR Play, uh, super awesome. They sent over uh, both an RSP1 Alpha and a Duo, and really appreciative of that. You can see the specs on it here. Uh, I, those guys have been nothing but um, a help uh, with, uh, you know, giving me some tips on the... Um, API and uh, some gain settings and some things that they're looking to do in the future. I'm pretty excited to, you know, hopefully one day see SDR uh, Uno in Linux. Uh, but in the meantime, you can take advantage of quite a few programs I built into SDR or uh, yeah, into uh, Dragon OS uh, to get these radios up and running. And you can see here the Duo, one kilohertz, two gigahertz, like the RSP. One alpha, except for this has two tuners in it, which I, I'll show in some later videos. I was actually able to take advantage of and even use Sig Digger and Cubic SDR uh, at the same time or two instances of uh, Cubic SDR. So, uh, but RTL 433, let's, let's start with something simple here. Uh, the only problem is uh, we need to fix uh, something. But uh, let's take a look at what's built in here for SOAPY SDR. You can see all the support of the different uh, radios that are built into here. <clears throat> if we want to see more information uh, as to what is plugged in right now, I can see I've got the RSP1 Alpha plugged in and then we can probe and specify the specific driver to get more information. Come up here, we can see uh, some of the well, the device ident identification, some of the additional settings that we can set, what's uh, enabled, what's uh, default, and then some more specs on the radio itself. All right, so we can see we can see the radio and everything. Uh, we want to change directory to user source RTL four three three, and you can do this with, you know without. Without adding anything additional, you could update uh, the git versus uh, what uh, the latest is on RTL433, but I'm going to stick with what's uh, built in. You can see uh, if you change into the build directory, let's uh, uninstall what's there. And then let's just do, let's, let's see to make clean, let's start fresh. Uh, I, I don't know why, I can't remember, but uh, I, I must have uh, built it without SOAPY SDR support. So you can see all you have to do is run sudo cmake, and by default, RTL SDR and SOAPY SDR device support is built. Do another sudo make. And the reason why you're seeing so many sudos there is because I've, to make this distributable, I've chose to put everything in the user source. Uh, folder so okay that's finished let's install sudo make install okay it's installed now and because I've already well let's take a look if we do a dash H we can see the settings uh, and the flags we can use here Big one being the dash D. Instead of using the typical RTL SDR, we're going to use SOAPY SDR. So if we do dash D help, we can see some additional settings that we can pass across. Specific uh, gain settings. They give you an example for a line SDR here. So let's see. Okay. So I've chosen the, the dash D. 
specify the driver equals SDR play dash gain and then I was setting manual settings for the gain dash F is going to be you can see up here is the output that uh, will be shown on the screen so with all that we should be able to uh, load up RTL 433 and you can see boom right off the bat it's actually a really great performing radio I'm pulling in some of the um, weather information from these Accurite towers that are um, probably close around here. If I let it run long enough, I've seen uh, some uh, some other equipment running on 433 megahertz. So, yeah. Real simple uh, fix that you can apply there and be up and running with RTL-433 with your RSP-1 Alpha or same thing with the, uh, the Duo. You can essentially do everything just like I did and do the same thing with the Duo. All right, look forward to, you know, like I said, I'll cover Sig Digger, uh, Cubic SDR, and then uh, we'll touch on uh, OpenWebRx.